Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Isaac and today I'm going to be building a selection sort algorithm which is going to take an array of numbers and sort them in numerical order using JavaScript. Let's get started. First, we need to create the array. We'll throw in uh, three values, but we'll make them purposely out of order. Okay, so next we need to declare the function. We'll call it selection sort and we'll pass in our array. Oops. Okay, so from here we need to declare the variables uh, that we're going to use throughout our uh, algorithm. So let's uh, declare i and j because we're going to use two for loops. One will walk the unsorted region, the other will walk the sorted region. Um, and then we need to create a variable, we'll call it min x for min iterations. That'll help us keep track and make it dynamic. Um, and then we'll create one called uh, minval, and that will help us uh, store some values for comparison. Okay, so um, now we need to start our first for loop, and we need to say uh, i is equal to zero, and i is less than the array's length, and we're going to increase uh, i by one uh, index each time. All right, so um, now that we've got that going, um, what I like to do with algorithms is uh, map everything out um, so you don't get confused on uh, what uh, variable uh, means what each loop. So uh, we'll go ahead and start with i, and um, we know that i uh, on the first loop is going to be equal to 0, and on the second loop it will be equal to 1. Okay, so um, it's, it is going to go three times because uh, the array's length is 3. Um, so it'll go 0, 1, 2, and then stop. Um, however, we know because of how short this array is that once it hits this second index, it's going to then perform the, uh, the swap method um, and it's going to put it in order. So we don't really need to know what i is uh, or any variable on the third time because uh, once it hits the second index, it's going to perform the uh, selection sort magic for us, which is going to put everything in order. So we'll just record uh, the first two loops. Um, okay, so going forward, um, we're going to take minval and uh, we're going to make it equal to uh, the array at the index of uh, min iterations and then we'll have that equal i. Okay, so um, right there, let's go ahead and let's map out what uh, min iterations will be. Okay, so um, if it is uh, indeed equal to i, it's going to be uh, the same. Okay, and um, now we'll uh, start our uh, other for loop, and we'll say um, j uh, is equal to i plus 1, and then we'll make uh, j less than the array's length, and we will uh, increase uh, i by 1 uh, index every time. Oh, I mean j. Okay, excellent. So now let's go ahead and let's map out what j looks like right now, or throughout our loops. So um, we know it's one more than i, so in all reality it should just be one and two. Uh, okay, excellent. So um, now that we're looping through everything, we need to make the statement which is basically going to say uh, if uh, anything needs to swap uh, according to its uh, value and position. Um, okay, so how we're going to do this is we're going to say um, uh, if the array at the index of j um, is less than uh, min val um, and we need to include one more statement in here. Um, also, uh, min val is uh, equal to the array uh, at the index of uh, min iterations and we'll have that uh, equal to j for the uh, uh, statement that we're going to write below. Um, so uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, record what the uh, array of the index of j is going to be. Help us keep track. So um, looking at it here, I believe it should uh, be uh, 3 uh, because j is going to start at the index of 1 and then it should be um, 2 for the uh, second loop. Um, okay, so uh, let's go ahead and let's talk about what's happening in this statement here. 
Um, this symbol right here means basically uh, both sides, the left and the right, have to evaluate to a truthy uh, value. Otherwise, uh, it's going to stop running the loop and it'll go to the second iteration. So uh, for the first iteration, let's see if this is true. So the array at the index of j, uh, which is going to be 1, which that makes this 3, is less than min val. So um, min val, uh, let's, let's go ahead and map out uh, what that is going to be. So because uh, it's equal to um, uh, the array at the index of i, um, min val should be uh, 1. And uh, the second iteration, uh, it looks like it should be 3. OK. So um, this is saying that 3 is less than uh, 1. So right there, we have a falsy value, which means the statement would stop, and it would go to the second iteration of the for loop. Um, so it comes back down again, and now the array at the index of j is going to be equal to 2. And it says 2 is less than min val, which min val on the second iteration is 3. So this is a truthy uh, statement. So now we got to check if this is truthy. Um, so it says min val, which is 3, uh, is equal to the array at the index of uh, min iterations. Um, and on the second loop, it's uh, an x of 1. So uh, the index of 1 is 3, so it's saying 3 equals 3, and that is correct. Um, we only had it equals j, so we can use that uh, next uh, consecutive value on our statement below. Uh, so both sides of the statement on the second loop are true. So now what we need to do is uh, we need to make the swap statement. Uh, and what we're going to do is first we'll make a variable. We'll call it temp. That stands for temporary because we're temporarily putting a, a, a value in there. Um, and we'll say uh, it will equal the array at the index of i, which is going to be 3. Um, okay, so uh, then it's going to take the array at the index of i, and it's going to make it equal to the array at the index of uh, min uh, iterations. Um, and uh, as we can see here, um, min iterations is equal to j, and j on the second loop is equal to 2, um, and the index of 2 is 2. So this statement right here basically says that 3 will now become 2. So now, right now our array looks like 1, 2, and 2. So finally, we're going to uh, take the array uh, at the index of uh, min iterations, and we're going to make equal to temp. And uh, remember when we stored over here, temp we stored 3 in. Um, so now we're saying that this index is going to equal 3. So now we have 1, 2, and 3. And uh, now what we need to do is we need to return the array. And we need to console log the result. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save this. And uh, we'll go over to our browser here. And when we press refresh, uh, as you can see, it's rendered our array in order, um, going off our bubble. I mean, sorry, our selection sort algorithm.